at the west side, I'm on my way and I'm okay And I'm Been a while between videos but here we are we've got a break in the weather we are in the depths of winter here in Adelaide um, but we're back here at the cruising yacht club of South Australia to look at this Cabo Rico 38 built in 1986 so boats as old as I am which is obviously the best year there is um, but let's jump on and have a look as you've seen we've taken it out for a sail sails beautifully sails are in excellent condition there's a lot been spent on this boat the owners have kept her updated um, and obviously done what they've had to do as they've gone while they've been cruising. So let's jump on, have a look through and have a talk about the boat. Show me your bizarre Because I'm sitting on a lonely afternoon Come and tell me what you wanna do Longing for your eyes while staring at the west side You're on your way and I'm okay Starting at the bow uh, you can see lovely um, bowsprit on these boats, um, very well built and engineered um, with the stainless dual anchor set up on the bow so you've got your choice of anchors depending on where you're sailing at the time. But you can see these boats are a gorgeous line, very reminiscent of say a, a Creelock 40 I believe. Creelock was involved in the design of these so you can definitely see that showing through. There's a Lofferin's winch at the front. We'll have a closer look when we get there. But she's just gorgeous on these boats. And this has been set up for proper long distance liverboard cruising. It's exactly what the current owners have done with her. They're only selling because they've got a bigger boat that they've taken delivery of. Lovely custom stainless boarding ladder on the side here with excellent access either side. So alongside, it's quite easy just to step on board. Quick note, all of these Bimini clears, the boom bag, this is all brand new. It's just been done. So we'll step aboard. Now, these haven't even been rolled up yet, and we're not going to. I'm going to show you what the owners do. They've actually got some lines installed in the Bimini inside. So instead of rolling these, which over time scratches them, they just sit up on the inside of this Bimini top. So little things like that that they've thought of um, it's always just lovely to see the, the owners that take care of their things to that sort of level. So, moving forward on the decks, you can see how clean and tidy everything is. Woodwork's in great condition. Decks are fantastic. Detailers. <laughs> So a lot of the running rigging sort of periodically gets replaced as they've been traveling. They've been out and about sailing, I think, for about four or five years or so. Here's our Loughran's winch. 1200 watt, 12 volt. So a decent size winch. Again, that excellent bowsprit setup. Nice and safe, very sturdy. This is brand new. So this furler system has literally just been installed. Brand new sail, brand new furler there. Our front sail our Genoa is not too far behind it's in pretty good nick the sail itself is in very good condition as you would have seen by our sailing videos but you can just see the uh, deck space it's it's really good for a boat of this size really easy to get down either side very safe plenty of things to hold on to brace on to clip off to we'll head back just put this down for a second 
You can see they've incorporated the winch cover actually into the bimini cover. Lovely touch. So after we've got a awesome davit set up, brand new, well near new life raft. We've got our little rigid inflatable on the back there. Looks to be an aluminium hull. Wind and aerial set up on the back. Wind vane set up. This also has a secondary backup, basically emergency tiller uh, autopilot tiller steer. So they thought of pretty much everything. We'll jump into the cockpit. Now I don't have the cockpit cushions out, they're brand new. You can see what they look like in the back there. Because you can see it's a little bit damp. We had a lot of moisture yesterday. Big storm sort of rolled through. But into the cockpit. Just sit that closed. You can see really decent sized cockpit for a 38 of this generation. Excellent helm setup. Again, because they're blue water sailors, all the instruments, all your controls, everything you need are, are at the helm. Little fold out table here. And of course the shaped helm seat at the back allows a comfortable seating while the boat is healing. So you've got the chart plotter with you, all your instruments, your autopilots, your wind, everything you need is right there. Engine start, engine controls just next to you. Down here. Moving forward, there's storage. Um, keep in mind this boat is set up for 110 and 240 volt. So no matter where you are in the world, you won't be without power, you just simply switch it over. This is the watermaker system you can see just here. It's currently um, set up for storage, seeing as the owners have now left for their new boat to take delivery of their new boat. This is just set up <coughs> while they're away. Um, so it's been pickled. Inverter, that Victron Energy. There's a lot of storage down in here. The battery for your automaker set up down in there. And plenty of spare parts that come with this boat. Everything you need basically to jump on tomorrow and head off. It's all on board and coming with the boat. Just safety gear, your bug netting, the remote for the winch. So another little bit of storage there. We'll have a quick jump down below. It's just in such gorgeous condition. And I'll turn it around real quick, the camera. You can see, even under the bimney, you've got about, it's just on six foot, maybe just over six foot um, headroom there. So full standing room under the bimney when it's all closed up, which is Fantastic, you don't get that too often. You feel like you're always a little bit crouched or ducking. So all lines lead back to the cockpit for trimming, etc. So your, your sheets will come back here. And obviously there's controls for halyards and things like that from the mast. But stepping down below, it's really easy access into this boat. Nice big top step which has storage underneath it. So we step down galley over to port. Excuse the, I'll just put a couple of things in there while I did the photos, but big fridge freezer, very deep. Freezers on the back side here, I'll just take this hook out. And the fridge is obviously just there below us. But a decent galley. U-shaped galley, very safe. It's probably the first time I've actually seen this installed out of all the boats I've videoed, but I absolutely love this. So the owner loves to cook, or owners love to do their cooking, and want to be able to do so in all conditions out at sea or not. So this actually clips under here, 
and you can brace yourself in it while preparing a meal without flying across the boat. I'm surprised I haven't seen something like that on, on more of these blue water yachts that I come across. So double stainless steel sink, um, everything we need here. Lovely gas oven and stove, all of our controls, all self-explanatory right here. So we've got solar power on board, <clears throat> as I mentioned, 110 and 240 volt. So you plug it into where you are, select it on the boat and, and charge accordingly. Um, and around the place, um, there's uh, you can use 110 and 240 volt um, appliances, depending on where you want to plug in. Nav table over to starboard. So you got your ICOM, HF marine radio, VHF stereo, uh, quarter bunk behind here as well. Underneath here is um, you will see in the photos. Let's have a quick look. Is um, the inverter switch and your house batteries. So a substantial setup there. Fly screens, uh, fly screen slats for your companionway. Love that view. And the nav table folds out as so. So you just sit against this quarter bunk and away you go. Moving forward, lovely space with your seating and dinette. And again, just lovely timber work. Everything's gorgeous. And one thing you'll notice, I'll point out as we go, that all the cupboards on this boat are lined with cedar, which is a lovely touch. You don't see that too often in modern boats, but it just, you, you get the scent, the smell. So it it's just lovely for, you know, hanging your clothes and, and whatnot. Now in here is, um, let's pop that up. A little bit of storage down in the center of the dinette which is another lovely little touch now we do have reverse cycle air conditioning on this boat here's the controls here one of the outlets so there should be an outlet forward um at here uh, from memory i'll double check that but um that's a, a awesome addition so when you're at the marina you've got excellent heating and cooling Really good access throughout the floor, as any decent um, cruising boat should have, down into your bilges, um, pipe work, valves, etc. Access to tanks under here, so your water tank. Uh, there's two tanks, so you can separate um, using gravity feed, feeding water from the front tank, tank down to the back tank. And with the water maker, it will fill the front tank. And when you're happy with the condition of that water, you can feed the back tank. Um, access under there to do that excellent storage throughout all along the top and underneath here uh, air conditioning unit uh, I believe is under here but here we go under there's the uh, compressor I believe but I've had a good look around and asked the owners directly about any leaking portholes there's no leaking whatsoever in these portholes um, maybe once upon a time, but everything is uh, sealed and or new. So fly screens in here, inserts, all of that's been replaced. Just stunning, that sort of quality of these parts. And these are just so you can hang your hatches up. Moving forward, we have the toilet, or the head, I should say. Showers behind the door here, we'll have a look. So as you can see, this is been zip tied off so when we turn the water maker on you test your water out of here and this just runs out when you're happy with the quality quality of the water you switch it over to fill the tanks and then it pumps directly into the tank this will show us all of our tankages so water levels everything grey water tank all of that so that's awesome to be able to see and when you duck in back here you see we've got the sump down here for the shower drain and full standing again in here there's pretty much headroom throughout this entire boat like i showed you earlier under the bimini so you just pull the shower off there and that's our that's our head and shower so 
I just pointed out, we've got hatches, lovely sort of heavy, um, well-built hatches, a lot of, uh, it, it just the quality, you feel it in the weight with fly screens on all of those hatches, as you can see throughout the boat. So you can have everything open on this boat and you're not gonna get any bugs in these fly screens on, on everything. And I'll just point out as well that we do have red light as well as white light. And there are little running lights around the boat, night, night lights you could call it, so you can come down here. There's a lovely feel to the boat and you've got lighting down near your feet, which is beautiful. But we'll move forward to the forward cabin. Just open up. There's the bed there. And as I was pointing out before, that's the cedar lined cabinetry throughout the whole boat. And it's just stunning to see. There's our tiller steer with the wind vane paddles. So a lovely cozy forward berth there. And our ship registry number at the front. It's the captain's quarters. But absolutely loving this boat. It's a pleasure again to jump on a vessel that's just been so well looked after. We'll poke our head into the engine room. I'm sure there's a thousand things I've missed. That there's so much information with this boat. It's both, you know, this owner and a previous owner have just been so fastidious with their record keeping and their updating. It's just so impressive to see. It makes everyone's life easier. My life, the, you know, the new owner can step on board and you've got everything. You've got the manuals. You've got okay, engine light. You've got everything ready to just jump on and, and learn the boat and enjoy it. So the engine, always serviced, impeccable condition. You've got a dual filter setup, parallel filter setup. So for whatever reason, again, with the intention of getting out and about and sailing basically around the world. If you get contaminated fuel and a filter is uh, basically perished, destroyed, whatever the might be, you can simply switch, switch it over with the valve up here and straight onto a second filter. So you, you've got your redundancies on this boat, your backup, so dual um, auto helms, which is fantastic. It's just been well thought out to get out there and go cruising. As you can see, there's a storage bin that I pulled out of there as well. But excellent access down into the engine, which is always good to see. But basically there we have it, is a 1986 Cabo Rico 38 that is Quite frankly, just in beautiful condition. I'll put all this gear back before I leave, but absolutely stunning. And as you can see, sails beautifully in the water, sits beautifully. Just an awesome boat. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Okay.